So I'm Guangwei Chou, and I'm the speaker for today's session. And Jim's availability has changed, so he will not come here today. So I will try my best to convey what he wants to say in today's session also. Yeah, and I'm currently a graduate student studying in National I mean, Zhao Zhong University and pursuing my master's degree in computer science. And today I'm going to talk about refining the data structure and algorithms in the Linux kernel for improved performance. Yeah, and this is today's agenda. And so first of all, I will talk about the main heap data structure optimization in the library code and also the heap source the sorting algorithm optimization. And also I will talk about some ob observations on the library code in the Linux kernel. And we'll give a short conclusion at the end. Yeah, so let's first talk about the main heap data structure. It's a simple data structure that everyone will uh, maybe seen before in the com computer science courses. And so in the Linux kernels main heap, we will the API have to send two function pointer. One is web function and one another is compare function. And the element in the main heap could be something like string that makes the swap and compare uh, very costly in, in terms of the executing time. So the optimization here, we will focus on reducing the number of comparisons during the heap five operations. And the optimization will, could be, we could reduce approximately 50% of the, oh, I, 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 I read it wrong, in the number of comparison nana swaps here. Yes, so let's take a glance of the textbook version of the mean heap. So in the textbook version of the mean heap, we will, during the heapify operation, we will go through, go starting from the root node and continuously compare the current node with its two children and swapping it with the, with the smaller child until it becomes the smallest among the three nodes. So it will, so during this, we, we could guarantee the whole heap will satisfy the heap's, uh, heap's rule. And to, by doing so, we, we, since we need to compare three elements in each level, so we will need two com uh, three, three nodes in each level, so we will need two comparisons per level. So the whole comparisons number in one heapify operation will be approximately about two times log n. So let's take a look at the picture. So if we want to pop the minimum element in the heap, so we will swap the four and the element 31 here, and we will remove the node four. So we will start from doing the operation from the root node 31. So we will need to compare it with seven and eight. So by, by now we will need two comparisons. And we will keep doing so. So the, we, we will see seven is the smallest number of the among the three nodes. So we will swap 31 with seven here. And we will keep doing the same thing un until we, re we find we are the smallest node of the three nodes or we encounter the leaf node. So there will be no child. And we will find 17 will be the smallest. So swap with it, and then we will find 23 is the smallest. So then we will got it, got the work done. So um, among the, this one Hippify hip operation, we will need six comparisons in total. Yeah, and let's talk about the optimi optimization version. So we call it a button up variant mean heap because we do not do it top, like by top down. We will do it first find a shift down path. Yeah, okay, so instead of making two comparisons for each level, we now change it to only compare left and right child in each level. So we could reduce it to only one comparison per level. So we first find a shift down path until we reach the leaves. Then we shift up, we find, we, we go back to its parent and to find, to compare with it with the root node to find where should the root node swap to. Yes, and no, normally the people operation will keep doing until 
is is really 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 close to the leaf level, because in in a form like like we show in here, we take the one of the leaf node to fill in the root node, so it will keep compare and swap to to uh, uh, approach the leaf level. Yeah. So in terms of the comparison number, we we only need one comparison per level, so it will cause log n comparisons. And we will need only constant number of secondary comparison instead of log n compa second, secondary comparison. So by doing so, we could say approximately 50% of comparison counts when the heap is large enough. Yeah, so let's take a look. So we have the same heap with the former one. And we still pop out the minimum element in the, in the heap. So we swap it for N31. Then instead of comparing three nodes per level, we only compare two children per level. So we compare seven and eight, and we find the seven is the smaller node. So we go to the left, and, and then we, comp and we go to the next, we compare it 17 and 21, and we find 17 is the smaller. So we go to the right, and by doing so, yes, until we reach the leap. So currently, we don't, we need three comparisons. And then we need to find where should 31 swap to. And so we will compare 23 with the root node 31. And we will find the 31 in a, in a root node should be swapped to the leaf node. Yeah, so we need one extra comparison by to, to do so. Yeah, so we have four comparisons now. And we do the swap, um, three swaps to swap the root node to the leaf, and then we, we got the work done. So we, we have reduced the comparison number in this example from six comparisons to only four comparisons. And we, also, in, in the meantime, we, we, we maintain the same swaps number. Yeah, OK. So that's the data structure part. And next, we let's talk about the sorting optimizations. Uh, the sorting algorithm in a Linux kernel do not use something that we think is much quicker, like quick sort or merge sort, because normally uh, we have a lot of scenario we need to run Linux in something have low memory, like embedded systems. So uh, if we use merge sort, we need own extra extra space. So it's not appropriate, and also in if we consider the quick source, we have to deal with the com deal with, it with complex complexity will degrade to the o, big O n square, and it's hard to deal with. And since Linux will sometimes use in a, use as a real time op operating system, so we would like to choose a sorting algorithm that always runs in n log n com time complexity despite it is uh, a s relative slower in average would compare with merge sorts and quick sort. Uh, so in for the heap sort algorithm in the Linux kernel, we, we focus on reducing the number of comparisons and swaps during the sorting phases. And the first optimization targets as the situation that we have a lot of identical elements in the array, and we could reduce some unnecessary comparison and swaps. And the second optimization targets as all the random data, and we could reduce the number of threads by the, by by 0 0.5 times, and and also in the meantime we could uh, keep the same number of comparisons. Yeah. So let's look at the first one. So we would optimize the lip source for. E when we encounter the equal elements. So for the former, the existing algorithm, when we find search for the sift down path, if we encounter the two identical child in, in the left child and right child, the algorithm will choose the left child. But considering that the height of the right subtree may be one less by, by the left subtree. So if we choose right child in such cases, we could potentially reduce the number of comparisons and swaps. 
So here's a short example. So we put all the identical elements 10 in, in a heap. And also and we do the same thing. We uh, the so in, in the heap store, we will we construct a heap first and we continuously pop out one element from the heap to until we have no elements in, inside the heap. So we pop out the root 10 and swap it to the the in the le uh, right leaf. And then we do the heap file operation from the root. Yeah, so in, in these cases, the algorithm will always choose the left child. So we need this comparison because we need to find a sift down path first. So to find a sift down path, we need three comparisons per level. And also we need to find where then back sift up again to find where the loose node should, should swap to. And so we will compare three nodes with the roots again. So we will need total in six comparisons in total, and we will find that the root node didn't need to do any swaps. So we will not do any swap operation here. And for the optimization version, we will choose the right child. So in such cases, we only need four comparisons. And for the same reason, we need to find the sift down path first for two comparisons and then sift up again for another two comparisons. And this is the actual patch that I sent to the Linux kernel and accepted by the maintain level code maintainer Andrew Merton. And if you are interested in more details, you, uh, I believe you can access the PowerPoints in, in, in the system and you can click the link to see the actual page patch here. Then another optimization is the, the uh, which using the double pop variation to do the optimization. And I also put a single pop variation here to compare with the double pop variation. So this is the single pop variation to come to do the comparison. So in, in a normal heap stores, uh, this is also a heap that already constructed. We pop out one element from the mass heap here. So we swap 31 with 15, and now we have one swaps. Then we do again to find the sift down path here. So we need three more comparisons to find the sift down path and compare back to another comparisons for comparing with it with the root node to find where we should swap to. And then we do the swaps here for swapping the root node to, to a leaf for another three swaps. So currently we have four comparisons and four swaps here. Then we do another pop here for the second round. So we change the 23 with 29 and we do the same things again to find the sift down path. So we have another three comparisons and do the swaps here. So in total, we have seven comparisons and seven swaps. And as for the double pop variation, so instead of popping the only one maximum element from the heap during each iteration, we could pop two largest elements at once. So to determine which one is the second largest element in the heap, we need an additional comparison, one additional comparison to determine the second largest element because the second largest element will definitely be one of the right child or left child in the root node. So we need an extra comparisons here. But we, we could do one heapify operation starting from the roots left child or right child. So we could, re the heapify operation will start in the subtree that have uh, the height of uh, reduced by one. And reduce the tree height by one means we could save one more comparisons and one swaps when doing so. So in, in a total, we save one comparisons and one swaps and we need another, uh, an extra comparison. So we will, we, we will not change the average comparison number, but we could save the swaps number in each iterations. 
Yeah, and we have a total of 0 0.5 times an iteration since we pop two elements in each iteration. So we could swap 0 0.5 times an in the number in, in terms of the number of swaps. So let's take a look at the picture. So we com we first compare the two ch children for from from the root to determine which is the second largest element. So we found it is the twenty nine. So we swap two elements to the leaf uh, uh, to the less. And so we have 15 in the root and the 23 in the left child. So currently we have two swaps to swap two nodes and we have one comparison to determine the second largest element. Then, then we, could do, we could do the Hippify operation start from the 23. And that is the, and so we could start from the tree height reduced by one. And we need, and we, and we could find that it is already satisfied the heaps rule, so we don't need to do any swaps, but we have to do extra four comparisons to check that, to find a system path and to check where the root node, uh, to, to find the 23 elements to swap to. Then we will do another heapify operation starting from the root, so we will need another three comparisons and we will find we, the, the, fifth, the root should swap to the leaf node now because the, uh, the 29 and 31 is not in the heap currently. So we need another for uh, two swaps. So we have total eight comparisons and four swaps. So we could, uh, so we have a, approximately the same number of comparisons and we could save like about half of swaps. And this is also the actual page patch I sent to the Linux kernel, and it will be included in the Linux version 6.9 that is about to release after maybe a, several weeks or a month later. Yeah, and also this is the experimental data that I generate the array by get random U32 API in the Linux kernel. And the n is the size of the array, and this the actual number I, I experiment to that we need to do the sorting with, with the number of swaps and comparisons we needed, and we could see in the data that it has almost the same number in the comparisons with new and old algorithms, but we could save approximately 0 0.5 times and in, in the number of swaps in each experiment experiment. Yeah, and after talking about a lot of data structure and algorithms, we also want to talk about some ob observations on the Linux kernel library code. Yeah, so the first we thought is the library code in the Linux kernel did not receive enough attention it deserved because we, we think that most of the Linux kernel developers are working for some well-known tech company and do the full-time development work. But most of them will focus on the drivers and subsystems that only affect, affecting their company's products. So since the library code it is, did not specify to any drivers or subsystems, normally these developers will not look into the library code. So we found that both its efficiency and test coverage may have a lot of uh, space to do some improvement. Yeah, also, we found that the library code lacks enough sufficient testing, like some frequently used code like the integer square roots algorithm. It did not have any tests in the Linux kernel but it was used by a wide range of subsystems and drivers. And also like uh, the optimization I do for the sorting algorithm, there are only, there's only one fixed set of inputs for testing. Uh, for example, I, when I look into the Linux, Linux kernel mailing list, I see someone before trying to introduce like quick sorts or like something hybrid algorithm into to it, but uh, for this fixed set of inputs, we it's hard to find 
whether the new algorithm will be will, there will be any regression like in in terms of like time complexity or space complexity yeah so we, we think it should be much more testing in the Linux kernel library code yeah so this is the for you to take a glance like for the testing code for the sort, sorting algorithm in a Linux kernel. So you only have one test to test a array of 1000 elements in here. And so like, like the quick sort maybe when the array is already sorted, we know that the time complexity will regression to the big O and square. And in this test, we can find it yeah, okay. Also, when doing the development, we found that there are a lot of double K implementations, and that's what I'm currently working for. Like the min heap data structure, we found that the perfect subsystem and the new new driver, the DM video and B cache and the new B cache FS, they all have their own min heap implement. And most of them are written in a lot of macros, which makes the code really hard to understand and hard to read. And also, there, there might be some performance issue also. And so we believe we, we should change that to all of them using the library code to reduce the code size. And also, maybe we could have a much better readable code. And we have a much better performance. And the, the left one is the library code in the Linux kernel, the, the min heap I have optimized. And the right one is the macro written in the bcache subsystem. Yeah, also like in, uh, maybe it's too small. Like, in, like this patch, this is a patch, uh, this is a patch in the Linux kernel that's up aiming to optimize the performance for integer square root algorithm. Yeah, it has a lot of performance number, but we also found it is hard to repro reproduce and to do the benchmark again. So we believe it's related to the lack of testing. So we, we think we need to do some more work to do more testing and make all like some of the patch like this, we could reproduce the number on that. Yeah, so then this is the short conclusion. So the work done by me is we could reducing the number of comparison by 50% when performing a HIPAA file operation in the min heap data structure. And also we do the optimization in the Linux kernel library code for sorting to reduce the number of swaps by 0 0.5 times and during sorting. And also we found that the library code in the Linux kernel lacks the attention which it, it should deserve. And the library code also lacks the comprehensive testing because it is used by a wide range of drivers and subsystems. So we believe it should do more testing to make sure all the things, well, we will not encounter some errors in some edge case, cases. Yeah, also, and we also found that uh, some patches have tests or benchmarks that are difficult to reproduce. Yeah. And thanks, thanks for your listening. And this is the contact information for me and Jim. Yeah, so thank you. Yeah, so I, I would like to know if there's any questions for today's session. Okay, so there's a lot of patterns like all the like uh, oh, I, I did I mention too much about the testing part. Like we have tested the, all the same uh, all, all, all equal elements in the array and like it's already sorted in the ascending or descending order, or maybe we we sorted it in ascending order and we swapped randomly for small numbers of elements like three elements randomly swaps to make sure it will not degrade it to other, uh, other time complexity like that. Yeah, but I, I guess I was referring to the charge of the Linux kernel for what you mentioned. So did you use the micro benchmarks for workloads on top of the Linux kernel that could be implemented to run a heap of the kernel? 
Uh, you, you mean some workloads that will hit the performance? Um, or, you, or you mean the usage scenario? Like, uh, I'm not too sure about the usage scenario in the, for the sorting in the Linux kernel too much, but I believe it is important because as far as I know, there are more than 1,000 drivers and subsystems that, you, that, that will call the sort function in the Linux kernel. But I'm, I'm not really familiar with all, those, all, all their usage. Yeah. Yeah, and any more questions? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you, you mean use a father to test? Yeah, I, I believe there are also like the syscaller in the Linux kernel that are always testing for a lot of, of the code in, in, in Linux. But I, I think like if we introduce the quick source to, to it, the father is hard to find the input like already sorted data for, as an input for the sorting code. So I believe we also should we need some tests for the for this kind of patterns to make sure we did not break anything like that. Yeah. So any more questions? Uh, I, I'm not sure I did get your question. You, you mean like the actual run run time? Um, to be honest, I did not really test that. But yeah, I I, I did test the like the data generated by I mentioned in the Gerumden U32 generate use the data generated like that to test the actual runtime and it did improved, but I did not really test it in a one, one specific drivers or subsystems. Yeah. And I believe it will be improved more in the element which is huge, like if we source the string like that, which makes the comparison and swaps much more costly. Yeah, comparing integer number will be more efficient than strings, obviously. <laughs>